Temperature monitoring is a critical aspect in many food processing operations. It is essential for ensuring microorganisms are killed or prevented from growing. Your job may require that you ensure high temperature short time targets are attained for dairy pasteurization, or for ensuring that the right temperature time combination is achieved in a canning operation, or that your hot sauce reaches a specified temperature while cooking. Keeping food cool is also part of the job. You may need to ensure that the product is cooled quickly and stored at the right temperature. In this module, you will learn how to take temperatures in different situations. For example, on food transport trucks, products being loaded or offloaded, inside freezers and coolers, and during food processing operations. First, let's consider trucks. Ingredients and finished products must be transported at the correct temperature. Your job may require that you measure the reefer temperature of the trailer on its arrival or before its departure. As for ensuring that temperatures were maintained during transit, you'll find that some large trucking companies have recording devices, such as chart recorders or data loggers. You'll need to check those logs when the truck arrives. Otherwise, you must have confidence in your carrier. In a frozen product, there may be some clues if the correct temperatures weren't maintained. The product may have a glassy or glazed surface appearance if thawing occurred during transit, even if the product is frozen on arrival. As for refrigerated foods, you will have no way of knowing and must rely on the temperature measured on arrival. So refrigerated or frozen food products have been offloaded at your company's shipping bay. You need to check the temperature of the product itself. This is where a probe thermometer is useful. Don't open up packages to measure. Just insert a probe in between cases of food or the individual packages. You repeat this on several pallets. Refrigerated goods should be 4 degrees Celsius, 40 degrees Fahrenheit or cooler. Frozen goods should be minus 18 degrees Celsius, 0 degrees Fahrenheit, or colder. Be sure to record these temperatures on your receiving log. Your job may also involve monitoring freezers and coolers to ensure they are at the right temperature. Whether it's a cabinet or a full room, you'll need to take the temperature of the warmest area of the space. In order to find what spot that would be, you would measure in several spots by the door, perhaps by fans, the ceiling, and in a back corner. Once you have determined the warmest spot, you will need only to take one measurement at that same spot each time. Monitoring temperatures through the processing operation itself is also important. You'll have to check that sufficient heating or cooling has happened at a particular stage. In addition, during cooling, you'll need to know that the temperature dropped within the specified time to prevent bacterial growth. You'll need to sanitize your thermometer in advance. After cooking, the product goes through a cooling tunnel. Now we need to check to make sure that it has cooled sufficiently. The measurements need to be done quickly in a matter of seconds as the product warms quickly. Valerie first equilibrates the probe so the reading can be taken rapidly. She does this by placing a few pieces on the stem for a few minutes so the thermometer is near the required temperature. Then she takes a few more pieces of pasta for her measurement. We see the temperature is within the acceptable range. Be sure to discard the product used for the measurements. She checks a few more from different parts of the conveyor belt to verify the temperature is consistent and records it on the process control forms. You must be sure not to contaminate the food while taking your temperature readings. Always sterilize your thermometer in advance. Another point, the type of thermometer you use is important. A probe thermometer in this case is more useful than a laser thermometer which measures air or surface temperatures. Here Valerie shows the difference in the two readings. The probe thermometer is more accurate for taking internal temperatures. In many food processing operations, temperatures are continually monitored by operators reading built-in thermometers, 
Often, these readings are computer controlled and temperatures are automatically recorded onto charts, such as the one shown here. The brown line indicates the temperature of milk being pasteurized over a 12 hour period. All of the various measurements should be recorded onto appropriate process control forms. Quality Assurance normally reviews these at day's end to ensure that safe product is being shipped. I can't stress enough the importance of temperature monitoring. You need to ensure that your equipment is sterile so that you don't contaminate product while taking your measurements. You may wish to look at the thermometer calibration module so that you know that your equipment is working correctly. If you wish to test your knowledge on the temperature monitoring module, take the quiz below. Don't worry, you can review the module and repeat the quiz if you need to. If you wish to get a certificate of completion, you need to complete all five quizzes in the series. Good luck! See you in the next module.